She's as fast as her namesake and even more ruthless. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we will explore the comic book origins of the cheetah. Candor City, filled with Kryptonian artifacts. Sorry, big boy. Your message in a bottle will have to wait forever. As with most comic book characters, there are often reimaginings in different versions to a character's past. We have chosen to primarily follow the storyline which unfolded in 1943's Wonder Woman number 6, which was expanded upon in 1980's Wonder Woman number 247, 1987's Wonder Woman number 7 to 9, 2001's Wonder Woman number 171, and 2013's Wonder Woman number 23.1. Nice kitty. Hands off. <laughs> Every superhero needs a good villain, and the Deadly Cheetah is one of Wonder Woman's most iconic. There have actually been several individuals who have taken on the name of the Cheetah throughout the years. Some have worn a costume, others have taken on a real animalistic form. But in all cases, they have been a deadly and ferocious hunter with a taste for Wonder Woman's blood. Surrender now, Cheetah, and spare yourself another humiliating defeat. But Wonder Woman, darling, what fun would that be? The first cheetah was a socialite named Priscilla Rich. She became jealous when Wonder Woman stole the spotlight from her at a charity event. When Wonder Woman performed a dangerous stunt, Priscilla tied up the unwitting Wonder Woman with her own magic lasso, hoping to sabotage the stunt and kill the heroine in the process. Needless to say, Priscilla failed. Later, alone in her apartment, Priscilla raged out. Looking in the mirror, she saw her reflection dressed in a cheetah costume. The reflection talked to her telling her to take her own cheetah rug, make it into a costume, and become a villain intent on wiping out the Amazonian princess. Priscilla, apparently the victim of a split personality, did as she was told, and the cheetah was born. Wonder Woman tangled with Priscilla numerous times over the next few decades, but in 1980, a new cheetah emerged. Debbie Domain was Priscilla's niece. When Debbie visited her aunt, who was on her deathbed, she accidentally discovered her secret identity. Unfortunately, she was kidnapped by the master villain Cobra. He brainwashed her so that she was transformed into the new Cheetah. In 1987, DC relaunched Wonder Woman in a new series that took her back to her very beginnings. In this series, a woman named Barbara Minerva became very interested in Wonder Woman. She was especially interested in the Amazonian's iconic magic lasso and decided that she must have it. With her companion, an African priest named Chuma, Barbara arranges to meet Wonder Woman, promising that she had an Amazonian artifact that the heroine should use. Unfortunately for Minerva, as soon as she touched the magic lasso, which compels people to speak the truth, she was forced to admit that she was deceiving the Amazon. Her chance ruined, Minerva decides to take revenge on Wonder Woman. Chuma prepared a special potion using a mysterious African plant and the blood of a human sacrifice, which transformed Minerva into the cheetah. And now I'm a freak. Rather than a woman wearing a costume, this cheetah is a half-human, half-animal hybrid. She has the speed, the claws, and the feral instincts of the jungle animal, and is swift and skillful enough to draw blood from even the likes of Wonder Woman. Yet another cheetah appeared in 2001, and this one was significantly different from those that came earlier as well. A man named Sebastian Balesteros had come into possession of Minerva's plant and used it to become the first male cheetah. As you may have guessed, this character's career in the comic books was definitely short-lived. When DC revamped its entire line with the New 52, the cheetah got a revised origin as well. Readers learned that the Sand Tribe of Africa had for eons been protected by the cheetah. The goddess of the hunt would choose one tribal member in each generation to be the host for the cheetah's spirit. But when a hunter used a magical knife known as the Godslayer to kill the cheetah, the spiritual being transferred its life force into the knife. That knife ended up in the possession of a woman named Lita, who was the leader of an all-woman commune called Amazonia. These women worshipped the hunt and ruthlessly enjoyed killing humans. Barbara Minerva was raised in this commune and was ordered to hunt down and kill her own brother. Her mission accomplished, Lita then stabbed Barbara with the Godslayer, transferring the spirit of the cheetah to her. Minerva took on numerous aliases, including Priscilla Rich and Debbie Domain over the years. Eventually, she returned to kill Lita, her last tie with Barbara Minerva, after which she could be the cheetah full time. Cheetah has grown more and more bloodthirsty over the years, making her an increasingly dangerous foe for the amazing Amazon. She's also spent time with various groups of villains, including the Suicide Squad. With her magic-based abilities, even Superman can fall prey to her. Under all that steel, just a man. Are you a fan of the nefarious cheetah? Any of the versions? For more awesome comic book origins, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.